Hello, I am Jenny Tishi, and before I became a registered nutritional therapist, I was actually a director of a division of Cable and Wireless, a telecommunications company. It was an IT division, but I was also playing National League hockey. And it's because of my interest in sport and my busy working life that when I got injured, I had to rethink what I really wanted to do. And that's why I trained in nutrition. So now I am a nutritional therapist, I am also a best-selling author, a presenter, I run lots of workshops and seminars all over the country and abroad, and I also develop recipes for brands, um, BBC campaigns, cancer research, um, but also for food brands and food equipment brands as well. So a typical day uh, in the life of Jenny Tishi is often an hour or so of social media, maybe an hour or so of blogging and an hour or so of email but then interspersed between all of those regular things are lots of irregular things so for example one day i may be filming uh, a new recipe or a course another day i may be developing content for a new webinar or course that i'll be running um, on another day i might be doing corporate well-being workshops or as i do quite regularly i work with uh, great british athletes on their nutrition as well so i might be running courses with them since graduating from ION, I have discovered that there are a wealth of opportunities uh, in the world of nutrition. The upside to what I do is that there's huge variety, no day is similar to the previous day, but also the irregularity of some of the opportunities that come my way. And that's probably the biggest negative. It's quite difficult to plan. I think in order to be a success story, you have to be organized. I wouldn't say that's my biggest strength, but I try. You have to be tenacious because doors don't just always open. And if you genuinely believe in something and you have a passion for something, just keep on knocking at the doors and eventually they do open. And I say that from experience. Um, I think you have to be somebody who really follows their passion. Uh, you have to believe that what you're doing is the right thing um, and those are the skills um, and perhaps personality traits more so that I think are imperative to a successful nutritionist. Uh, so I'm probably the ultimate portfolio career girl as far as what I do with my nutrition qualification goes um, because I'm not just in my clinic. In fact, I'm rarely in my clinic. I do perhaps one day a week if that, um, but I'm also doing so many other things. Like I say, traveling, workshops, seminars, online courses, offline courses, um, speaking and developing recipes and writing blogs. So um, it is a multi-skilled job, um, but I'm sure within all the, the possibilities possibilities, the realms of possibility, you'll find something or certain things that are, are your thing, that your passion and your drive. And um, that's what I found. My hours are, let's say, irregular. I tend to go when the work, where the work calls, when the work calls, but that doesn't mean I always say yes. Over the years, I've got better at saying no. If it doesn't fit with my family life, I don't do it. I do work at weekends. I do work in the evenings, but not all weekends and not every evening. So I'm the decision maker, the opportunities come in and I decide whether it's for me or whether it's not for me. The upside of that is that I can make my children's sports days. Most of the time, there might be the odd one that I don't. So as you progress from doing this course to having done this course into the world of trying to use this course as your career and your profession, I would suggest that you look at all different aspects and work out what it is that you're really passionate about and pursue that with tenacity. I cannot emphasize that enough from my perspective. There's not just one aspect to this. You don't have to just sit within a, a clinic environment there are so many other things you can do there's a, a world of possibility out there so i urge you to find what it is that you really want to do and follow it so do i enjoy my work i absolutely love my work i have been doing this since oh i'm trying to think now i well i started this course over 15 years ago and finished it uh, about nine years ago ten years ago and since then, I have found so many things that I love to do within the world of nutrition and nutritional therapy. I found things I don't enjoy so much. I don't enjoy the one-to-one -one clinic side as much, um, but I do love educating, presenting, and writing. So um, I love what I do.